Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Lexmi with another video. Today I'm going to talk about my weight loss again, 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 again. Because your girl, your girl's feeling fit, fit and flawless, okay? So if you are trying to lose fat, you're trying to lose abdominal fat, you're trying to lose the fat, the stubborn fat on your waist, this is going to be the video for you. Um, as you can tell by the uh, thumbnail, your girl has definitely lost a little something something in the middle, right? So I know that's a problem area for a lot of us ladies and men, and men too. So I'm just gonna give you like very beginner friendly tips because I'm not professing to be an expert. I'm not professing to be a trainer or like super like, you know, gym baddie, gym girl. Like that is not who I am. <laughs> That's not who I am. So I feel like a lot of the tips that I'm going to tell you are very, very, very important if you're trying to lose fat. Okay. So if that's why you came to this video, then you came for the right place. You came to the right place. So before I get into this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in hair, beauty, um, nursing content, lifestyle content, advice, anything like that, then make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel, duh. Also, I'm on all social media platforms at Lexa Marie, which is Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. If you do wanna know where I get my gym clothes from, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I'm also going to put them in my Amazon storefront so you guys can get the same clothes as me. The same clothes definitely makes me feel way more confident in the gym, keeps me in the gym because I feel so confident. So I just wanted to say that really quick and then get into the tips that I have for you guys. Okay, so for tip number one, tip number one is to track your calories, okay? If you're first starting out and you don't know what to do, if you're trying to lose fat, you need to be taking in less calories than you're burning, okay? So the best thing that you could do is just go on a calcu like a calculator um, website for calories and put in that you want to lose weight, put your height, put your weight, put your age, and it will let you know how many calories a day you should be eating, right? So either you can get a planner or get a notebook and write down the calories that you're taking in, which in includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, snacks, any juices or beverages that you drink, just look on the back of them and track the calories, as well as any like snack, um, like candies or anything like that, uh, because we tend to forget things of that sort. If you're lazy like me, <laughs> I started out with using my Fitness Pal, which is an app that you can use, it's free. You just type in whatever um, that you're eating and what time of day you're eating it, and then you just keep the log in there too. My Fitness Pal also can link up to your uh, Fitbit, your Apple Watch, and just other devices that you have to track calories, and it'll let you know with your workouts added to it and your physical activity how much calories you have left to eat throughout the day. So definitely, I love that app, and I used it in the beginning of my fitness journey, but now I'm kind of in a point where I'm like, I can kind of like, if I'm eating the same foods every day, like I kind of know what I need and don't need. But I would say that's definitely a great way to start losing your abdominal fat because you'll be able to track how many calories you're taking in versus um, the calories that you're taking out. And that's the only way, honestly, that you're going to see abdominal fat come off is to try to decrease your caloric intake. The second way um, that I was able to lose my belly fat and just fat overall was to do more weights than cardio. And I don't know, I always thought that cardio was the way to burn fat. That's the only way you're gonna burn fat. And that's not true. You have to be very strategic when it comes to your weights and you have to be very strategic when it comes to your cardio. So for me, I always do a five to 10 minute warm up in the beginning, which includes like dynamic stretching, a little bit of cardio, but like not too um, strenuous. Then I go into lifting heavy weights. And the reason that I do this is because you want your muscles to help burn more fat for you. And I believe, I think it's like like one, like I think having a certain amount of muscle increases your metabolism and helps you burn fat faster. So like the reason that like all those little fitness people could eat junk food and look all crazy one day and then next thing you know, you know, all that bloating goes away, they still have their abs is because they have so much, um, 
uh, muscle, lean muscle on their body that helps them burn more calories than the average person. Like, some people, like, it's just crazy. Like, they can eat as much as they want on a cheat day because they know that their body is going to literally burn all of it off. And you wanna have any type of aid that is going to help you burn calories. And the quickest and best aid, in my opinion, is muscles. So I try to, you know, get a little muscles, get a little something going on, you know, I try to, try to do that little ab muscles, <laughs> little crunches, so I can have a easier time burning the fat around those muscles. So when people say, oh, you can just do 100 crunches and lose fat, like no. It helps with building muscle there, but you really have to tear those muscles and build them back up and help them grow in order for them to help that area burn more fat, right? Another thing is that I do my cardio after my weightlifting session. So uh, let's say I did arms, back, like buys, tries, and back, right? Then I'm going to go on the um, treadmill and I'm probably going to power walk for about 30 minutes or go on a walk in my neighborhood for about 40 to 45 minutes. And it's literally steady state cardio, like my heart rate does not go above 140. I have it on my Fitbit and I just, you know, make sure I'm walking with intention, like I'm not just leisurely walking because it is going to help burn that fat after you just worked all those muscles so definitely that has been a game changer you guys i feel like i've seen a lot of results with doing that rather than just doing cardio because um a couple years ago i did try to lose a whole bunch of weight and yes it did come off but i was so flabby like i was just flabby i wasn't strong and i was just a smaller version of like the same body type and i just didn't feel confident but i'm starting to see more of my shape start to come in like i'm really starting to see like fat come off of my stomach and this is like the first time i'm actually you know seeing results <laughs> even though it took forever you know so definitely do weights before you do cardio and prioritize weights over cardio and like i said before i'm not an expert so if i'm saying something and you don't agree and you're like oh well science says blah blah blah, blah. Listen, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to tell you how I got to look the way I do in my picture on the thumbnail, okay? <laughs> so these are just like little tips and tricks that worked for me that I want you guys to know as well. So the third thing, the third uh, piece of advice that I would give you guys is progressive overload. So like I was talking about with those weights, you wanna make sure that you're constantly lifting a heavier weight. Um, for me, I know my body, I wanna, like my upper body, I wanna max out at probably like, I don't know. I don't want to lift anything higher than like eight, like 50 pounds with chest press. I don't know. I'm just not interested in like getting too crazy up here, but I know my abdominal area and anything lower, I do try to go as heavy as possible. Um, I've gotten to, I think, 345s on either side with hip thrusts plus a 25 plus a 10. I don't know the math. I just know big, 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 medium, small. So <laughs> I know that I started off with 145 plate and that was challenging for me. And now I'm all the way at three big, large 45 plates plus a 25 plus a 10 pound weight. So I have been progressively over time um, adding like five pounds or 10 pounds or 2.5 pounds just to constantly um, push my muscle and shock my muscles because I want my glutes to grow. I want the gluteus maximilis to grow. Even though it's still tiny, it's, it's just round and firm now. So definitely I have seen a difference. Sorry, I'm literally touching my butt. But I have seen a huge difference when it comes to um, doing progressive overload. So I would definitely recommend like, do not stick to the same weight every time you go to the gym. If you've been working with the same 15 pound weights for like two weeks, okay, let's do the 17.5. If you've been doing 17.5 for a week or so, and you know that 10 reps is a little too easy, go to 20 pounds. If the 20 pounds is good, you feel in the burn, stick to it for a week and then go to 22.5, then go to 25, then 27.5, then 30, then 32.5. So you wanna keep going up as much as possible. Um, I like to do it maybe over like a week and a half. That's usually when I start to feel like, okay, like this is getting a little easy. Um, and wherever you want to max out like just make sure you're increasing the reps like if you just don't want to increase the weight but you want to like still push yourself increase the reps to instead of 
eight reps, you're doing 12 reps. Instead of 12, you're doing 15 reps. So definitely like constantly try to progress when it comes to your actions in the gym. Okay, this right here is the most important one, okay? This right here is the most important one. Have protein in every single meal that you eat, okay? Have protein in every single meal that you eat because you're not gonna hit your protein girl, uh, you're not gonna hit your protein goal if you wait until the end of the day. You're gonna be chugging a whole bunch of white meat and probably uh, uh, like literally choking. What I do is I try to have at least 30 to 50 grams of protein each meal. And it is the hardest thing on the planet, but it's much easier than trying to binge right after a workout or a binge before you go to bed because you're gonna have a protein belly. You're gonna be you're gonna be protein pregnant, okay? You know, God forbid, pregnant pregnant. We just saying protein pregnant. Um, right now I'm a little protein pregnant <laughs> because I just had um, some protein chips that I ate. I know you guys can see my butt in the background. <laughs> but I try my best to have protein with every meal, whether it's eggs or shake. Um, I love to have white meat chicken. I love to have tuna. Um, I like protein in terms of, um, what I say, eggs. You can have it with um, like your oats. You can put powder in your um, oatmeal. So there's different ways that you can kind of finesse it. I try my best to just like drink a protein shake and maybe nibble on like some meat and like some salad because that meat alone will probably be like 20 grams plus the protein shake which I can drink a little bit over time that could be another 30 grams so I hit my goal for that meal and I hit it for the next meal the next meal and it's also good to have protein snacks as well like the chips that I said which is 19 grams from Quest Quest protein chips promo promo me please <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, yeah, so just try to make sure that you're having protein with every meal because that's the only way that your muscles are going to grow and help you um, curb your appetite and also lose that belly fat. All right? That belly fat. And I still got a little belly, all right? I still got a little belly. Like, you know, I'm still, I'm still, you know, I got something going on, but it's slimmed down like crazy. And... I didn't realize it until I measured myself and took pictures, which kind of brings me to my next point, which is number five, tip number five. Pri prioritize pictures over um, the actual scale. Okay, so for me, I have a little bit of like body dysmorphia that I've been dealing with. So every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, like I look exactly the same as I did a couple years ago. Oh my gosh, I haven't changed at all. Ooh, ooh, like I'm still like big here and big here. I always point my eyes to my problem area. But if you take pictures as cringy as they might be, take your little side pictures, you do the, do the back thing, you check your muscles, you go like that, you do all that stuff, you keep doing it you'll see progress, especially if you've been putting in the work, you'll see progress. I really did not see progress physically looking in the mirror at myself until like a month ago. It took me well over six months to really see my progress rather than seeing it on my phone. When I took pictures on my phone, I was like, wow, like it's coming down. Wow, it's coming down. You know, I'm slimming down. I'm starting to look different. I'm starting to, you know, move different, be more active. And I don't think a scale would have helped me get there because as what I've said before in a previous video, I'm doing body recompositioning, which doesn't prioritize weight. It prioritizes fat loss. So um, I've technically what only lost like like maybe 20 pounds, but I made my 20 pounds count. And that's what I want you guys to do too. I want you to make your 20 pounds count. I don't want it to just be, oh, you're losing water weight, you're losing muscle mass, and you're losing... Um, uh, fat. I just want it to be fat for you guys. So yeah, definitely just try to ignore the scale. Maybe give her some love and affection once a month, twice a month, and that be it. Because if you focus on that number when you're trying to lose fat, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to have days where you step on the scale in the morning and you are just like, oh my gosh, period. Oh my gosh, I'm so skinny. Oh my gosh. And then you're going to have a sandwich and you're going to gain three pounds because that's how weight works. We take in water, you take in food, you sweat, you know, you sleep, your body continues to burn all these calories and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. So if you are tracking it with the scale, track it once or twice a month at the same time. Um, Preferably not on your cycle because it'll be misconstrued and just do it consistently or just 
you know, do it when you remember. Don't make it every week, every three days. Don't do that because your weight is going to fluctuate. So um, that is just something I will say because I feel like I would like get on the scale, then go to the bathroom and pee, and then hop on the scale again, and then I'd go have a snack, and then I'd be all disappointed. And it's just like, it's just an unhealthy habit to have. So just focus on measuring, focus on you know how you feel and focus on how you look because that is kind of why we're trying to lose weight right we're not losing weight just for the number we're losing weight to be hot like we're losing weight to be baddies like let's be real so yeah and the final um piece of advice that i have for you guys is to drink a gallon of water a day drink a gallon of water a day i am here slurping on this I'm slurping on this every day. All right, and let me tell you something about this though. Let me let me tell you a little disclaimer. You see how heavy this is? You're obviously going to gain weight while chugging this, right? You're going to gain water weight. That's why I say don't focus on the scale. You're going to be a little bloated, you know, because you just ingested a gallon of water. But let me tell you something. That next day when you wake up, <laughs> skin clear, belly flat, that's how it is every day for me over a week you know you've been gaining all this water weight during the week then all of a sudden whoosh it goes down you lose two pounds that's what water does okay and they don't talk about it enough but when I'm telling you when I get you know when I slim down I know it's because I'm exercising I'm eating right but it's really the water water is life water is <laughs> I sound crazy but water is life like if you're trying to lose weight don't drink no soda don't drink anything else just focus on that water because giving that to your cells allowing your cells to have that fuel to recover you're going to see that weight literally slide off of your body slide off of your body and yes temporarily you're going to be full and bloated and, yeah i'm full of water shake 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 <laughs> but when you wake up you rest you know when you rest and you wake up the next day you're going to be like wow like you know where my stomach go you know bloating where everything will be flushed out so definitely just get you a gallon water bottle on Amazon okay right here this has little motivational things on here for me drink your gallon of water a day bring it around which you. you don't need to drink nothing else just carry it around like it's a pocketbook um, and yeah just try to reach your goal as much as possible obviously if you can't reach it for whatever reason because you know you had a long day or whatever just take 10 sips which is what i just did now i'm a little ocd like that i take 10 sips every time i put my mouth on this water bottle so if i'm drinking something i'm at least have like eight ounces or um i think well i think personally 10 sips is eight ounces <laughs> in my mind but um yeah so just try to drink um as much of it as possible but it will give you energy it'll help you lose weight and manage your weight it'll help you flush out all of those toxins like water is honestly the key i know people say oh just drink water but like no seriously drink a gallon a gallon and don't put no um don't put nothing in it just leave it as leave it as is maybe put some lemon if you really want something but just have water as it's supposed to be okay and I'm gonna tell you right now you will see the results like I know it's like super early in the morning and I um I can't show you my full outfit but it's like you know I'm, I'm slimming down I'm slimming down I'm gonna try to do some more full body um pictures so you guys can see but it's like we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there you know I'm she's she's getting smaller she's getting a little waste here so definitely um if you do want more content like this more relatable weight loss content fat loss content i am more than happy to share if you guys just want to see gym fits i could do that too <laughs> it doesn't have to be you know helping you lose weight you could just look good in the gym because that does help me lose weight too but um let me know how you guys like this video and leave a like down below if you are interested like i said in more content like this let me know so i can make it for you and i'll see you guys in the next one bye